back on the mountain a rainy day. It have rained all day, so <coughs> times like this you must do it carefully. <coughs> Mostly I don't split woods like this, but today I do it because it's really wet and I'm going to use both fatwood and birch bark to give me a good chance. I'm going to use the fatwood to put in the flame so it dry up the sticks. And I use Michael's light my fire today. Really wet. It have took me more than 10 minutes to get this fire and it's still not stable. I have put on a lot of... The wood is so wet so I must dry them out. I put on as much as I can. It's totally so. It's, it is really good practice. Mostly just to start the fire, but now it's, like I said, nothing is dry. I have split the woods in small parts. I know I must let the woods dry out. This I have no use for. It's <laughs> I can feel the water in it. But now we're gonna talk about something else. Finally, I have a little fire. It's really good to have these bad days so you can practice on starting a fire. Okay, today I'm just gonna talk a little about of 
own things that you can oh, and I also want to know what you brings out in the woods when you sharpen your knife I have have kind some different kind of sharpening tools I have used Lanskis sharp medic the field medic I think the name is and I have used Felkneven diamond stone and ceramic stone but you know I have serrations on my knife so this is not the best and recently I got a gift from you know that I have got a lot of gifts from presents from Donny Bassett and he gave me this Bear grills, diamond chop, chopping stone with the ceramics in that kind of V shape there and, and here you have a, a diamond V shape but when I sharpen my knife I don't want to use that uh, diamond stone in the first as a first choice because diamond take a lot of steel from your knife and uh, there are mostly no need for a diamond stone ceramic is better but on this one you have a ceramic stone like this because this one the V shapes are you don't get the knife that sharp that you want it's okay but I guess it's okay for do your task but they are better stuff out there or I should say you can make a homemade one better because I took my favorite dog bone the China made dog bone that have angles I guess I must come closer with the camera let me show you Do you like when I'm lying down here like a sexy mermaid? Where was I? Where were I? Uh, I have, like I said, I have built my own field sharpener. I took my favorite dog bone, the China made, just for some three, four, five dollars, and this had angles. Here you have a flat side and here you have a round side so if you want to sharp your knife and like I said I think ceramic is better than diamond mostly the diamond is good when you have a hurt your e uh, edge if you have put it down in a rock or something because that's happened otherwise ceramic is better and I just do like this with this knife. I prefer to use the round part, before, uh, not the flat, the round part. And with that, uh, because I have some, some kind of angle here, I can, if I like, put it down the serrations. But the serrations, you don't need to to sharpen the serration very often they are sharp far longer than the, this edge but if I for some reason now want a diamond rod if I have a nick or what you call it in the blade I have a Smith & Wesson I think the name I think Yes, Smith & Wesson, diamond stone, that are shaped like this. Up here I can come into the small serration and down here the big serrations if I like. And I can also do it on the play, uh, what you say, non-serrated part of the knife. Up and down, up 
and down. Like you see, I didn't touch it now because I don't want to put that diamond on my, on my really sharp edge. It's not going to get that. And this I have in my pocket. Just here. Beside my survival box. But if you like, you can use this kind of... And I know on some LMFs they are in, built in in the sheet sharpening tool. But if you like, you can use this. And here you have the angle, they say. If you are not very good to sharpen your knife, you have the angle. And like in this famous Lansky field medic, you also have the angle. But here you can, if you like, do it on that. And you also have that uh, diamond stick. But they are very neat you say need to carry very small and also this very small fits perfectly in your pocket and of course if you have a, a plain edge you can go with this really good stone diamond and ceramic So, I guess that was all for me today, a little short video out in, out in, up, uh, up on the mountain, uh, the super wet mountain. You so easy forget how, how it, hard it is to start a fire when it's soaking wet outside. So I have a, me, myself a good lesson today. Out. Pea soup with the mustard is food for an Bushman. That I can promise you. Just add a little bit of water. Not much because I want it thick. And then put in the pea soup. Swedish guy, this was, uh, you know, this is new, the small ones. You know that uh, before they was that big for two persons, but it is for one. But the big one was good for one very hungry bush, bush dude, dude. Swedish. Soldiers pea, pea soup, it's called, it's named. Mmm!